Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. Hope you're getting value out of all these shows. Today, we're going to be talking about a very, very important topic and that is this whole idea you've been hearing over and over and over. The name of the show is Network Marketing Pro. Uh, we're talking about becoming a network marketing professional and I don't even know if you understand the impact of that statement. Um, I had this conversation this last week with a group of friends and we were talking about what's it going to take for the network marketing profession to hit a tipping point in the minds of people around the world. And Malcolm Gladwell came out with a, a great book called The Tipping Point. It talks about when products, services, companies hit this tipping point when they go from obscure, obscure, obscure and then popularized. All of a sudden, seems like overnight everybody is talking about it the the perception of whatever that product or service or company changes immediately and people become intrigued they become involved what's it going to take we were having this conversation about uh, this our profession this network marketing profession in order to be able to rebrand in the minds of people around the world and um, one of the things we can, kind of came to the conclusion of is that it really starts with you and me um, this idea of so many people for so many years, for decades, have hidden behind what they really do. People don't go out there and say, I'm a network marketing professional. They say, I'm involved in my own business and I offer these different products or services and it's kind of like this and it's kind of like that and I have this home-based business or I do these. Really, really what you do is you're a network marketing uh, person. You might be a professional or not professional. My uh, wish for you, everyone watching this program and the people involved in our great profession, is that you do decide that you're going to become not a distributor, which distributors are disposable, professionals are permanent. You decide to become a network marketing professional. So in this conversation, what I, what I said to my friends was, look, once a person in the world has heard from a person some from somebody that's involved in our profession that they are a network marketing professional once they've heard that 10 times from 10 different people it's over it's game over worldwide everyone will take another look and they say well what do you mean by that so I will do with you what I did with them I said look if I came to you and, and we were having some conversation you said well Eric what do you do if I said well I'm a network marketing professional you're gonna kind of wrinkle your you know, forehead and say, well, what's that? And I'll explain it. And the typical person would say, oh, yeah, 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 okay, I understand. It's one of those things. But then you move on, and a week later you talk to somebody else, and you, you, the topic comes up, what, what do you do? Well, I'm a teacher, but I'm also a network marketing professional. Then you're going to go, hmm, it's the second time I've heard that. That's different language than what I've heard before. A week goes by, and they, they talk to somebody else, well, what do you do? I sell real estate, but I'm also a network marketing professional. Or I'm a builder, and I'm also a network marketing professional. I'm, an ed, I'm somebody who is a doctor, but I'm also a network marketing professional. Once that is heard by the world 10 different times from 10 different people, it's game over. Everybody's going to say, you know what, something must be happening here. I've had these long-standing biases and beliefs that I have to now go re-examine. I've got to take another look because something clearly has changed. There's, these people are sharp people. They're, they're professional in other parts of their life. There's got to be something that I'm missing. So it's this tipping point in my view. This tipping point happens when the, tenth, when the person hears for the tenth time. I don't even think it's going to take that many times. But for sure, by the tenth time, they're going to say, I've got to re-examine everything that I thought about this profession. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible profession. does $120 billion a year in sales, operates in 100 countries around the world. 67 million people are involved in our profession. And if we are successful in helping it tip, we can take it to $250 billion just like that. In this economy, people are looking for options. They're looking for answers. They're looking for something that will give them the freedom and the lifestyle that we get to enjoy in this great profession. So here's what I will tell you. I hope that you choose to become a network marketing professional. I hope when you're asked, you will tell them what you do for a living, but then you will also tell them that you're a network marketing professional. I hope you do that with a smile. I hope you do it with confidence, without hiding, apologizing for anything and then explain and help to educate these people as to 
what it is that we really do, how we offer value, products, services, opportunity to people all around the world. Uh, we, we have the greatest profession there is. Uh, we just have to do a better job of telling the world that we're all network marketing professionals. I hope you choose to become a network marketing professional. If you do, you can be the change. I can be the change. We can be the change together that our great profession is waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, hope it gives you something to think about over the course of the next 24 hours, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.